Hello and welcome again viewers, this is Sweet Battle Scars back with another unboxing of yet another figure arts figure. Um, this is the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku and as you can see it's no ordinary figure as even in its box it still looks really epic. Uh, so it's definitely an exceptional figure not only in its awesomeness but in its rarity. This figure has actually become quite rare and uh, a little quite difficult to attain uh it's been i've seen it on ebay a few times uh very very uh on occasion and uh hasn't been easy to find and uh, when i do find it it's it's been for really high prices unreasonable prices uh amazon had a couple for for some time also and it's also really high priced so i was finally able to get myself this figure at a pretty reasonable price uh, although it was uh, still a little higher than uh, what these figures initially went for. And so I'm really happy to finally have this guy. Now, notice right away the Dragon Ball Kai logo in this box. And this is actually the Japanese version that uh, came out uh, uh, some time ago. Uh, there is also a another uh, US exclusive version like the Son Gohan in my last video. Which has a different coloration on the clothing. Uh, a lot of people claim that it was, um, you know, on the internet, claimed that it was a closer look to uh, some Goku's clothing. The color was a little more true. I actually disagree with that. And, uh, of course, it's hard to tell as his clothing is always changing, even in the anime. Uh, those of you who watch the anime know that uh, his clothing looks different uh, throughout different sagas, different... Uh, even episodes and uh, you know the coloration is always changing but to me I like this softer orange the other ones are a little darker orange and uh, so I like this one a lot more and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that as I open the figure so let's take a look at the box so here we have a uh, profile picture of Goku on the side like these figures typically have on the uh, right side the back is uh, of course in Japanese so I can't there's no way I'm gonna read that to you and it shows you the figure, various poses, and uh, the name at the bottom. So really cool, really cool figure. Another uh, picture showing you the pic the figure on the back, and then the the front, which you've already seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it and show you the figure itself. He's been in that box for way too long. And so, out of the box, you can already uh, see the color of his clothing. Let me adjust the lighting here a little bit so you can see it better. There we go. Move the light a little bit. And uh, I think that should be better. So, there is a figure. Let's pull it right out of the plastic. And, as it's uh, usual, his hands always fall off. So, here we have the figure. Let's move to this to the side. And so this is what I'm, I was talking about. This color, this soft orange of his uh, suit. To me, it seems like it's closer to the anime. Of course, this is up for debate. Uh, a lot of people would argue that the darker orange, and I don't have a picture of that guy, but uh, you can definitely see him online. Look for the US exclusive Son Goku figure arts. Or... Uh, it was also a Comic-Con exclusive. I believe that was last year's uh, exclusive figure. So the uh, clothing was a little more red. And uh, I didn't actually go after that one because I like this one a lot more. So I did, decided to go for this version, the Japanese version, which I think has a much better uh, color on it. As you can see here, you can really see the color on him. And uh, to me, it seems like the colors are very true to the anime on occasions too. To me, it looks like he's kind of a later Goku. This is what his clothing looks like in later sagas, like the Cell Saga and the Boo Saga. But uh, his blue, I might I might admit, is a little off. It looks a little too light bluish to me. In the anime, I remember it being a little darker. So, I'll agree with that. So, let's look at the figure itself. And so, first off... The articulation here is the head and uh, you can see right away Goku's angry face uh, there so articulation on the head it moves freely and it popped out of its joint 
Let me put it back here. Um, I do have to admit that the the neck joint, the ball point on the neck is a little funny on these figures. But uh, I mean, if you don't force them, they don't pop out. They're not that bad. So I kind of force the head. So the head, because of the hair back here, is only allowed to go pretty much like left and right about that much. If you force it, the hair starts hitting the the neck a little bit and it it'll it will pop out so if you don't do that the head stays i mean it's very stable so that there's the articulation for the head so it also goes it tilts left and right like that and there's another joint on the neck which allows you to kind of move the head back and forth like so and a little bit of side to side movement like that and the arms Set on a ball joint, and I also, as is uh, usually as is typical for these figures, they pop out so that you can get some free movement. They go up in this position about that much because the clothing gets in the way. But of course, you can just spin it back, and you can get pretty good movement all around. So there you go. And then when you're not uh, posing your figure, just pop it back into place, and that's what it looks like. In its rightful place it looks really nice I like I love the design of these figures it makes from some really smart uh, they really made some smart choices in terms of articulation definitely uh, so that's the arms let's pop them back into place and the arm also spins on a joint at the shoulder like so 360 degrees and the elbow is on a single joint Actually, sorry, this is a double joint. <laughs> um, like Gohan, Son Gohan had a uh, single joint. But this is actually, as you can see in the back here, is a double elbow joint. So that allows for some pretty flexible movement on uh, Goku's arm. So his arm goes up about that much. And the wrist sits on a ball joint. And uh, you get really good movement, very, very uh, free for the wrists. So that's the joint and the arms and the wrists, and then the arm just rests like so. Uh, the waist, you can take it pretty much all the way around, but it does tend to get a little loose. So you got to pop it back into place. This kind of floats freely to allow for that movement, his waistband here. And then... As you might have uh, imagined from if you've seen my other videos, the hips, the joint of the hips, also uh, have that popping out mechanism. See, I just popped it out there. And it's a ball joint, as you can see there. And so you can get some pretty good flexibility frontwards and backwards. And it'll spin around. And the head just popped out again. So like I said... If you force them, there's a, actually a, um, a way of putting the head back on. Sometimes you think it might be secure, but it's actually not. It's not that the head is, is loose, uh, definitely not. It's just that uh, as you push the head down, the actual ball joint kind of bends downwards so it doesn't click uh, uh, that easily. So as long as you kind of uh, don't press the head too hard, you'll hear a slight clicking noise, a, a slight clicking sound, and that'll mean that the head is right in, in, into place. Sometimes I, I can't, since I can't see the ball joint going into the socket inside his head, I can't really tell whether it's secure or not. It stays sometimes like that, but in the moment you movement, it might fall off. But uh, when you hear that clicking sound, it means that it's in its rightful place. So never mind that. Uh, the knee, of course, it's on a double joint. You can see in the back there, double knee joint. And so you get some really good mobility for the leg. Um, so I showed you the hip. And the ankle sits on another uh, ball joint. And of course, you get a hinge joint on the toes. So you can go up and down. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty much the articulation for this awesome Goku figure and uh, I gotta say guys it, it's really it's definitely gonna be difficult to find a figure this good out there for uh, for such an iconic character that is 
like Goku. So let me adjust the camera here and uh, I'm going to try to set them down. Um, sometimes it's tricky to make these figures stand up. Not because uh, there's any, any, uh, not, not because they're faulty, but just because their joints are very snug, which I actually really like. Uh, right out of the box, you're, you're, you'll notice your figure is very, the joints are very snug. So, um, you know, they're not loose or anything, which is, which I think is a, a big plus that uh, you don't get all these loose joints kind of flying everywhere. All these articulation points and limbs kind of hanging from the body. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the accessories it came with. It came, now Goku, I, I was a little disappointed to be honest. It only came with one extra head, one, one, one extra face, I'm sorry. And it only comes with a Super Saiyan 1 hair. They didn't give you the option of uh, having them uh, Super Saiyan 2, but uh, I guess that's okay. Uh, it's not like Gohan, you know, Gohan had an iconic and epic Super Saiyan 2 transformation in his fight against Cell. So, um, and he looked really cool, so that's why I guess they give you the extra hair. But Goku looks just as epic like this. But uh, they only gave us one face, one angry face, and uh, just one normal, like, serious, kind of uh, pissed off face. Uh, I wish they would have given us, like, a happy face, as that's what normally, what that's what Goku normally looks like in the, in the, in the anime. You know, he's always, he's always, he always has a happy face on him. It's very rare that you see this on Goku. This is mostly like Vegeta, uh, but oh well. So he did come with uh, two extra sets of hands, meaning two pairs, two extra pairs. And I will show you those here. And here we have the uh, partially opened fists for, uh, I guess, like uh, blasts, like different types of uh, blasts and poses. You can have his uh, Kung Fu poses with these like partially opened palms. And you can see it a little better here in the light. Um, so really good, high quality plastic, very clean, no mold marks, no flashing, no anything. It's just a very clean cast in the plastic. And then we have the completely opened palm for, uh, of course, his uh, big attacks. This is almost like uh, for the Kamehameha here. You know, you get the, the kind of the Kamehameha pose going. And this is just for like shooting just your regular blasts at an enemy. So again, notice the detail on the fingers. Notice that, that detail there. Very nice detail, very clean hands, very clean cast, which I really like about these figures. All the casts are very clean. It's just, uh, they're very well made. And here we have one final hand, which is uh, the... Uh, the obvious hand for his uh, instant teleportation, his uh, instant movement technique, where he can uh, pretty much teleport anywhere in the universe in just like a second. Uh, so really cool. Again, very clean cast, very, very awesome uh, accessory uh, accessories that came with this figure. So that's the uh, the Goku. Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku. I gotta say, I give uh, this figure a yeah, 10 plus, an 8 plus. It's a really awesome figure. Really exceptional figure. It looks awesome. It's uh, Goku figures like this are very rare to come across. So uh, this is an awesome figure to have. And uh, if you can find it anywhere, I, I'd say, I'd say don't, uh, don't question it. Just get it. This is an awesome figure and uh, one that you won't regret having. So here we'll leave him in his awesome about to teleport pose. So there we go. Look at that awesome figure. So that is it for my unboxing and review of the Figure Arts Super Saiyan Son Goku figure. Uh, this is an amazing figure. It's uh, extremely well made. The casts are very clean. I love the color. Like I said, to me, it's what Goku looks like in the anime. Of course, that's up for debate. The other figure looks like Goku also in several certain parts of the anime, certain episodes, certain sagas. But uh, it's just a, a matter of a preference 
this is what the, the color that I like the best. So I chose this figure. And uh, I also like that it's the Japanese version. I mean, of course, they're all made by um, by the same company, Bandai. But um, so I like this one better and I chose this one. So I'm extremely happy with this figure. I've given all of these uh, figures a really good review. But uh, this is this one's exceptional. Mark my word when I say that this is a really, really nice figure. Um, everything about it is just perfect. I have no complaints with it whatsoever. Maybe just... I would have uh, loved a little more, uh, some more accessories, like a happy Goku face. But, uh, you know, oh well. I can't, uh, I can't be too picky. So, really happy with this figure. And it's uh, definitely, definitely it's a must-have for any Dragon Ball Z fan out there. So, thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to leave me any feedback, as that's very helpful. And I will see you guys next time.